Guys, what's up, man? You left some leaves burning out here. Yeah, I, I just I, there was a. I had just came in just for a second. Come on, man. If it's too hot to touch, it's too hot to leave. You could torch the whole neighborhood. It's a good point. There's smoke. Key. Nine out of ten wildfires are caused by humans. Only you can prevent wildfires. You know, there's a real good possibility I may be a talented photographer. What makes you think that? Well, I bought this phone, and I took one picture with it, and it asked me if I wanted to open a gallery. Okay, well, let me know when it's open. not all that familiar with Cherokee and you're asking yourself, wonder what we can do tomorrow. Well, here's an idea. Actually, here's four ideas. One of the best ways to learn about the history of the Cherokee Indians is to walk through the Museum of the Cherokee. Here's where you'll see computer-generated imagery, artwork, life-size figures, and priceless artifacts. The museum tells the entire story of the Cherokee from their beginnings 11,000 years ago. The museum is open seven days a week and is handicap accessible throughout. Now if you're an art fan, you simply must put the Koala Arts and Crafts Mutual on your to-do list. It's right across the street from the Museum of the Cherokee. Founded in 1946, the Koala Arts and Craft Mutual is the leading and oldest Native American arts cooperative in the nation. Here's where you'll see pottery, basket weaving, carving, and tool making. Crafts handed down from generation to generation that date back thousands of years ago. Thank you. You're welcome. All of the art here can be purchased, which means you can take home your very own piece of handmade Cherokee history. Coming up next, the best way to spend an evening in Cherokee. You know what a lot of grown-ups are missing? Playtime. Taking a break from the everyday and hitting the playground for no other reason than to have fun. And when it's time to recharge, well, there's all kinds of goodies. Then, it's back to fun. Yeah, grown-ups need more playtime. Harris Cherokee Casino Resort features your favorite games, including blackjack, roulette, craps, and the hottest slot machines. Plus, over 1,000 hotel rooms, the Essence Lounge, and restaurants ranging from casual to upscale. Not to mention a 3,000-seat entertainment venue and the luxurious Mandara Spa. So go all in for fun at Harris Cherokee Casino Resort. Come out and play. First up, we're going to get ready to hit the hiking trails. Now, you don't need to venture out into the Smokies without being prepared. So, we're going to go to Gatlinburg to a place called a Happy Hiker and find out what we need to do to get ready to go. This is Barrett Ogle. He's the owner of the Happy Hiker. Barrett, why is it so important to be prepared before you go hiking? Well, Brittany, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is a wilderness area, and, and being a wilderness area, you definitely need to be prepared if you're going to go out for even a couple of hours, sure. much less a day hike. So. There are things to consider, such as if you're not going to go hiking with a group, always let somebody know where you're going to go, kind of give them an itinerary so they know if you don't show back up sure. to send somebody to look for you. Exactly. Also, if you're hiking with children, be sure that you keep your children either with you or in eyesight because they can get off the trail very easily. Yeah, it only takes a second. Right. Um, what kinds of things would you suggest that somebody have on a hike? Some of the very important things are boots for one. You need definitely need a good sturdy pair of boots. Mm -hmm. uh, you definitely don't want to go into the woods in tennis shoes. Mm -hmm. uh, socks are another very important thing. Um, wick moisture away and to aid the boots. Right. Uh, another thing is a first aid kit. You never know when something's going to happen, right. so a small first aid kit can be very valuable in the woods. Because of the nature of the Great Smoky Mountains, we do have rain quite often. Rain gear is a very important thing. It, it can definitely be sunny in town, 
and then raining and stormy on the mountain. Right. So always take rain gear. That's a very important thing. You can get up in the woods and get thirsty. You definitely need a water source. That's something a lot of people don't consider. So a liter of water per person is always a good a good gauge to go with. Yeah. Trail foods is another thing. Long day hike, you're definitely going to get hungry. You need energy for the trail. Right. So uh, crackers, different things like that. Trail foods are, are very important. Flashlight. You never know when you're going to get caught out after dark, which can happen here very quickly. pretty quickly. I yeah, it can. So yeah. even a small flashlight can be very valuable. Well, if there's a lot of tree cover even, you might need a flashlight just to right. see, you know, the intricate maps and stuff like that. Exactly, so, exactly. What else would you suggest? Um, a whistle is a good thing for kids especially. Mm -hmm. uh, if they get lost or they get to where they, they're not sure where you are, a whistle can be very valuable in, in locating the child. So a, a good chief whistle is always something good to consider. And because of the nature of the trails, a good trail map also. Uh, very inexpensive and it can be something that can make your hike more enjoyable. One of the very last things I would say, especially in the fall and in the summer, is insect repellent. Oh yeah. That's mosquitoes a good idea. and yeah, different things. So that those are a few things that can make your hike more enjoyable. Sure, definitely. Well thanks Barrett and I guess we'll just get all sure. the little things that we need and get on the trail. Great. Have they got any of these with like prime rib in them? You really need a walking stick, Mike. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> We got one line! Yay! One line! Here's Johnny! I'm getting out of here. Without question, one of the best places to visit in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is Cades Cove. Now what is Cades Cove, you ask? It's an 11 mile auto tour that takes you through a very scenic valley where you'll see wildlife like you've never seen it before. It's kind of like being on a safari in the comfort of your own car. To get there, take Little River Road, which is the road that runs in front of Sugarland's Visitor Center, and follow it for about 30 minutes and voila, you're there! Cades Cove is the best place for the opportunity to see deer, fox, bear, wild turkeys, coyotes, the list goes on and on. You'll also drive past old settlements, churches, and a grist mill that dates back to the early 1800s. The best time to see wildlife in Cades Cove is early morning and late afternoon, but keep in mind during the peak season there's going to be a lot of traffic and they're going to be moving slow because they don't want to miss seeing any wildlife, just like the rest of us. The museum store at the Museum of the Cherokee Indian is a destination all its own. You'll find crafts, pottery, and traditional beadwork handmade by local artists and enrolled EBCI members. Browse our book section for works on Cherokee history, language, and more. We carry high quality apparel from t-shirts to outerwear for those cool Smoky Mountain nights. Pick out the perfect dream catcher or remember your Cherokee stay with music or a DVD. The Museum Store, a gift for every age.